Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, survival instructor with DansDepot.com. The Dan's Depot crew and community has been working diligently to get together the Dan's plan for getting prepared. And what I wanted to do today was give you an over the shoulder look of what is, in, is actually involved in this. And to also uh, put this out there so that you can start giving us some feedback. Our intent is for this to be the first mock up and we're gonna to add to it based upon what it is that you want us to put into it. So give us some feedback on the forums and on the blog so that we know that we are putting into this plan what it is that you need to help you and your friends, your family, your unit, whoever it is that you're getting prepared with to get better prepared. thing I wanted to point out is that the plant itself is put together on waterproof paper and it is also on paper that'll burn so we intended on this to be something that you can plan before you need it but also if you happen to take it with you in your kit that you've got it with you and it's a usable form for survival as well. I have here on the first page is an introduction from Dan Bacon himself. Uh, how cool is it this guy's real name is Dan Bacon? Um, with that said, uh, the mission statement for Dan's Depot is find the highest quality gear at the lowest possible prices and assemble a knowledgeable team to help customers learn how to use it. And that in a nutshell is what this whole plan is all about. This plan, I wrote this plan and then the crew at Dan's Depot just picked it apart as best they could and then we gave it to the graphics guys and the graphics guys put it together where it's in a real pretty form. So what you've got is the beginnings of a document where you all are going to help us add to it and make it even better as it goes along. So what you have here on the basically the table of contents is we're going to look at some fundamentals. Then we're going to look at survival kit checklist and then things that you need if in a situation where it's more than 72 hours are needed. And specifically what I wrote is some specific weather related events and then some non-weather weather related events, things like earthquake terrorism, uh, bioterrorism, things of that nature. And then basically we took a look at some personal questions. Do I want to shelter in place and how do I get my family prepared? And that is the genesis of what is this particular document that is before you now. If you are a regular follower of the blogs and the Facebook page, these graphics are something you've seen before. So basically these graphics are the ones that we put together for STOPA, the Law of Threes, the 35, what I call the 35s. And then you get right into this survival kit checklist. So basically we have a, ch uh, a checklist for everyday carry. And then we have a checklist for your get home carry. And then we have a checklist for a full survival kit where you're gonna shelter in place. And then um, bug out bags as well as where we start getting into the weather related events. So what you're going to see on these checklists is basically a whole list of things that we recommend and some of these things are obviously stuff that we carry and then there's other things on here that we don't carry. So it's not uh, it's not a catalog of items to buy from us although yeah obviously we'd like for you to support us so um, we continue to put out tons of free information just like this particular document here and we appreciate anybody and everybody that wants to continue to support Dan's Depot by buying our gear. But yeah, there's, there's a ton of gear on here uh, that you can get from us and others. But basically this gives you a starting reference point so you know how to get started on setting up and organizing your kit. Now I'm not going to go through every single one one of these in detail, but basically what you've got is, for example, on flood precautions. On the weather related events, what we do is, for example, we have um, be observant of continued rain patterns that lead to flooding. Yeah, that's obvious, and but maybe not to others. And then there's some ways that you can prepare now on each one of these weather related events. And then you have a section for notes on every one of these sections so that you can start putting together what it is and this is probably going to be one of the most important aspects of this document is you start putting your notes down on what it is that you need that's over and above what we put together for you. I wish I could say that we can put a document together that covers every single instance that's going to happen to you as far as survival but that's simply not true. 
So what we've got, again, is this note section so that you can take our basis of understanding of these things, flood precautions, tornado precautions, severe storms and lightning, uh, general summer considerations, general winter considerations, um, and then we get into earthquakes. These are the non-weather related events, terrorism, bioterrorism and pandemics and even workplace recreation and violence and what i mean by recreation is basically when you go to the soccer field with your family and you deal with violence there so basically what we want you to do is get a basis of understanding again of some things to consider ways that you can prepare and then start writing your own notes and putting your own thoughts and ideas about your specific group or your solo self and determine what it is that you need to do so, and last but not least, what we have here is should we stay, which is shelter in place, or should we go, which is go somewhere and find adequate shelter somewhere else. So, um, those are the last parts of this particular document. And then la and in the very last, which is almost um, a summary of everything, is how should I get my family prepared? So, again, and what I want you to do is go ahead and download the document as it is now. Go ahead and fill, uh, get that and start writing your own notes. If you have any feedback, feel free to go ahead and send them our way. So again, the Dan's plan for getting prepared. So please download this and add to it, send it our way. As we start getting this more prepared and with even fuller with information, we're gonna put this out again, and that way you've got more and varied information to add to it. We've already got a lot of feedback on our forums from a lot of really quality folks, so this is gonna be a really good document. It's a good document as it is. I'm not saying that because I wrote it, I'm just saying that I did a ton of research to try to get this together. So uh, I feel like we've got a good start. Uh, I don't feel like we've got a good completed product yet. So get on there, download it, and give us some feedback, and we'll start putting the document together that we know is gonna help everyone as best we can start getting prepared for whatever emergency might ever arise. So with that said, I hope to see you next time on or off the trail.